Hello mga math enthusiasts! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang math ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. At andito na naman si Teacher Maria ang inyong math buddy para talungan kayo sa mga problema nyo sa math. And for today's video, ang pag-uusapan natin ay tungkol sa solving quadratic equations and rational algebraic expressions. Okay, kasunod to ng learning task 2 ninyo na naputol kanina. Pero bago ko simulan ang video tutorial na ito, siguraduhin na muna mga anak ko na napindot yun na dyan ng like button. O, pindutin na. Sige na. At syempre, kung bago pa lang kayo sa aming YouTube channel, pindutin nyo na rin dyan ng subscribe button. At i-hit mo na rin ang notification bell para lagi kang maging updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Okay na, na-like, na-subscribe at na-hit na rin ang notification bell. Talaga? Kung okay na, simulan na natin. Okay, so we have here number 1, 1 over m plus m over 2 equals 11 over 16. Tingnan nyo yung procedure mga anak ha. Ang mahalaga dito, natututunan nyo kung paano siya ginagawa. Okay, so since we are adding two rational algebraic expressions, kailangan natin i-consider kung similar ba sila by looking at the denominator. Pero kung titingnan nyo, ito ay m, ito ay 2. So obviously, hindi sila similar. Magkaiba sila ng denominator. So we get the LCD. And ganin, dun sa learning task number 2 pala, Diba? Tinanuan ko na kayo kung paano mag-identify ng LCD. So, since we have here M and 2, you just multiply it. So, 2M na siya. And then, we divide the denominator and multiply the numerator. So, 2M divided by M, that's what? So, 2 na lang siya kasi makakancel na to. 2 times, dahil may 1 ka dito, you have 2 times 1 which is 2. So, you have 2 here. Plus... Okay, so 2M, i-divide naman siya by 2. Okay, so cancel lang yun, 2 matitira yung M. Pero dahil may M tayo sa numerator, you have to multiply. So M times M, you're just adding the exponent, kaya magiging M squared yan. So you have there M squared. Okay, equals 11 over 6. Okay, dahil meron na tayong fraction, to fraction, and then we have equal sign in the, in the middle of two fractions, we can do cross multiplication. So, you will have here 6 times 2 plus m squared, okay, equals to 2m times 11. Then, multiply. Dito, distribute natin, ha? 6 times 2, you have 12, plus 6 times m squared, you have 6m squared. Equals to 2 times 11, you have 22m. Tapos gawin na natin siyang standard form. Okay, so mauuna si 6m squared, yung quad, uh, quadratic term natin. Okay, and then yung 2m lipat doon. So from positive magiging negative siya, negative 22m. And then plus... Ano, 12. Sorry, hinga lang, Teacher Maria. Ha? Okay, so we have this one na. Ngayon, kung mapapansin nyo, 6, 22, and 12, pwede silang masimplify. Magpa-factor out tayo dito ng ano. Anong common kay 6, kay 22, at kay 12? Pwede silang i-divide by 2, ba? O sige, divide natin by 2. So, magkakaroon kayo dito ngayon ng 6 divided by 2. You have 3m squared. 22 divided by 2, you have 11m. And then, 12 divided by 2 is 6. Equals to 0 lang to. Okay, natatandaan ba yung tinuro ko sa pag-factoring? Diba, pwede, ah, sa pag-identify uh, ng value ng ating mga roots, diba? We have uh, 4, yung completing the square, extracting the root, factoring and quadratic formula. Kahit ano doon, pwede nyo gamitin. Pero pinakamadali dito yung factoring. Using what uh, step in factoring? Yung slide and divide method. Ha? Meron ako nun sa playlist sa uh, grade 8. Baka gusto nyo i-check para ma-master nyo kung paano mag-factor. Pwede nyo siyang panoorin. So, kapag ang iyong A ay mas mataas kay 1, ang pinapagawa ko sa mga students ko yung slide and divide method. Paano? Kailangan mo ang matanggal natin si 3 dito by multiplying it dun sa last term. Kaya ang matitira dito ay m squared minus copy lang to 11m and then 3 times 6. 
and that is 18 equals to 0. Dahil wala na itong digit sa tabi niya, you can easily factor. Okay, anong factor ni 18 na kapag dahil ito ay positive, inad mo ay ang sagot ay 11. So, obvious na obvious ang answer, di ba? 9 times 2. Kasi 9 times 2 is 18 and then 9 plus 2 is 11. So, we have here M and then M. So, we have 9 and 2. Dahil positive ang third term natin, ibig sabihin pareho sila ng sign. Pero dahil middle term natin ay negative, negative, negative siya. Equals to 0. Dahil nga nag-multiply tayo ng 3, kailangan i-divide natin itong uh, nakuha nating factors para bumalik tayo sa dati. Okay, so 9 uh, divided by 3, dito ko na lang isusulat. 9 divided by 3, how many? 3 siya, ba? Ulit ha, ito ay 9. 9 divided by 3 is 3. So, M minus 3. Okay, and then 2 divided by 3. Dahil hindi sila pwedeng ma-divide, i-slide mo siya. Ano yung sinasabi kong i-slide? I-multiply mo siya, eto, dito kay M. Okay, kaya ito magiging 3M. <coughs> Excuse me. Minus, eto na lang siya, 2. Equals to 0. Sorry, inuubos si Teacher Maria, kaya napastop. Okay, and then we equate both in 0. So, M minus 3 equals 0, and then 3M minus 2 equals 0. So, lipat lang to doon, you will have your M equals 3. O, so, ito na isang value natin. And then, lipat to doon, we have 3M equals positive 2 divided by 3 para M na lang siya. So, your M is equal to 2 over 3. So, that's it for number 1. Kailangan matransform nyo muna siya into quadratic form and then sa kanyo masosolve yung value ng variable natin. Okay, now let's go to number 2. O, i-transform muna natin to ha. Since we are having subtraction here, kailangan makonsider natin yung LCD. So, you have here, what? 5N. Okay, and then 5N divided by N. Lagay ko dito para nakikita. So, maka-cancel lang yan, matitira 5. Dahil may numerator kang 2 times 2, so you will have here 10. So, 10 ito. And then, 5n divided by 5. Ito yun, yung 5 dito. So, matitira na lang dyan n. Tapos, may n plus 1 ka pa dyan. Pero, minus yan na minus n. Minus yung operation natin dyan. And then, n plus 1. Equals negative 4 over 5. Pag negative ang fraction, mga anak, ipakeri nyo na kay numerator yun ha. Bayaan yung siya na yung magdala. And then, we distribute. 10, negative n times n, that's negative n squared, correct? And then, negative n times 1, that's negative n. Okay, over 5n equals to negative 4 over 5. And then, ano nang mangyayari dyan? Cross multiply. Natatandaan? So, you have 5 times 10 minus n squared minus n. Okay? Equals to negative 4 times 5n. So, distribute natin yan. We'll have here 50 minus 5n squared minus 5n equals to negative 20n. And then, lipat to dito, tapos saka na natin sila pag susunod-sunod din. So, unang isulat si 5n squared kasi siya yung may mataas na degree. And then, we have negative 5n. Nilipat to, kaya magiging positive 20n. Sorry, wait. Positive, mm -hmm. positive 20n. Okay, and then, plus 50. Ito yun. Equals to 0. So, magiging negative 5n squared. What is negative 5 plus 20? Tama. Plus 15n plus 50 equals 0. Okay. So, gawin natin positive yung a by multiplying this one to negative 1. So, magiging 5n squared. Magiging positive na siya. Ito magiging negative 15n. At ito ay magiging negative 50 equals 0. Pero kung mapapansin nyo, si 5, si 15, at si 50 ay pwede nating masimplify, di ba? Dahil may common sila. Anong common nila? 
common sila ng 5. Tama? Okay, so let's try. So, divide natin sila by 5. Kaya ito ay magiging n squared minus 3n. Ito, di ba? Minus 10 equals to 0. O, oh, now, pwede na natin siyang i-factor. Ano ang factor ni n na kapag, dahil my, uh, minus to, na kapag minus natin, ay 3 ang magiging sagot. O, oh, sige nga, 10. So, obviously, that's 5 and 2. Kasi 5 times 2 is 10 and 5 minus 2 is 3. So, you have n and then n and then 5 and then 2. Dahil negative nga yung third term natin, magkaiba sila ng sign. Pero ano yung sign na ibibigay natin sa malaki? Dahil ang middle term natin ay negative, ibig sabihin niyan, sinasabi niya na yung malaking number siya yung negative. Kasi nga, siya yung napunta sa kanya. So, eto yung negative ngayon, eto yung positive equals to 0. Now, solve for n. n minus 5 equals to 0. And then, n plus 2 equals to 0. So, lipat doon, n is equal to 5. And then, n is equal to, lipat siya doon, negative 2. Okay. So, let's have number 3. We have here 2 over p minus 3 plus p over 2 equals 1 over, or negative 1 over 2. So, paano ba natin ito gagawin? Siyempre, LCD pa rin. So, meron kang P minus 3 and 2. So, you will have your 2 times P minus 3 as LCD. Okay? And then, 2 and then P minus 3 divided by P minus 3. Okay? So, you just have to cancel this one. So, ang matitira na lang ay 2. Pero may 2 ka sa, la, sa numerator. So, 2 times 2, you have 4. So, you have here 4. And then, 2 times P minus 3 divided by 2. So, cancel ito. Ang matitira na lang dyan ay P minus 3, pero i-multiplied by P. Okay? So, plus, o, oh, iuna ko na si P high, nag-iisa P, and then P minus 3. Pag multiplication naman, pwedeng magka-baliktad yung arrangement. Okay? Equals to negative 1 half. Okay, now, multiply to distribute natin, pati na din ito. So, you will have here 4 plus P times P is P squared minus 3P. Kasi P times 3. Over 2P. 2 times P is 2P. Tapos, 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. Equals to negative 1 over 2. Siyempre, cross na yan. Kaya ang mangyayari ay 2 times 4 plus p squared minus 3p. Okay, equals to negative 1 times 2p minus 6. Oh, distribute natin ha. So, 2 times 4, that's 8. 2 times p is 2p squared. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6p. Equals to... Negative 1 times 2 is negative 2p. Negative 1 times negative 6 is positive 6. <coughs> and then, di pa na lahat to doon. So, magiging, una na to ha, si 2p squared. 2p squared minus 6p. Okay, lipat si 2p, magiging plus 2p. And then, plus 8, yung eto. And then, minus 6. Kasi yung positive 6 pag nilipat, magiging negative na siya. So, 0. And then, we have 2p squared, negative 6 plus 2, that's negative 4p, plus 8 minus 6, you have how many? 2 equals 0. Okay, dahil yung 2 at 4 at 2 ay pwede pang ma-divide by 2, o, simplify muna natin siya. So, you will have your p squared minus 4 divided by 2 is 2p, 2 divided by 2 is 1 equals to 0 lang to. And then, syempre, pwede na tayong mag-factor. This is P, this is P. Anong factors ni 1 na kapag in natin, dahil positive to, ay 2 ang magiging answer. So, you have 1 and then 1. Kasi 1 times 1 is 1 and then 1 plus 1 is 2. And then, dahil positive to, ibig sabihin pareho sila ng sign. Pero anong sign yung pareho nila? Look at the middle term. So, negative, negative equals to 0. And then, P minus 1 equals z to 0. And then, P minus 1 equals to 0. So, pag nilipat mo, you have P is equal to 1. So, ayan na yun. And then, P is equal to 1 also. Kasi pag nilipat to. 
Ayan na. So, ayan na ang inyong magiging guide kung paano nyo sasagutan ang inyong learning task number 3. Sana mga anak ko na intindihan at nakatulong ako ha. At kung natulungan ko kayo, please i-comment yan sa ating comment section. Mga anak ko, salamat sa lahat ng nag -e effort mag-comments. Kaya sana lagi na yan, auto-comment na yan. Kahit thank you lang, okay na. Kahit like, kahit smiley. Sige na, tulong nyo na lang yun sa mga videos ni Teacher Maria, ha? At syempre, baka naman, i-follow nyo naman yung Facebook page natin, Love Ma TV. Naantay ko kayo dyan, ha? 2,000 followers pa lang ata ako dito. Eh, magsi magiging 60,000 na kayo. Ay, magsi 60,000 na ata kayo ngayon. Currently, ha? Social. Pero sa Facebook, wala man ng follow. Sige na, ha? Follow nyo na ako. Okay, at laging tandaan, let's spread the love of Matt. Thank you and bye!